Okay, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit more. We have another video on inventory assemblies, but we're going to talk a little bit about work in process and how to make that account or account for that in QuickBooks. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is on your chart of accounts, you have to have a work in process account. All right, so I've got my inventory asset here, my other current asset. So I'm going to go ahead and add a another other current asset, continue, and just call it WIP. Okay, work in process, and say save and close. All right, so that account is in here now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a item called uh, inventory part called base widget. All right, so when I have my base widget here, which goes into widget A, widget B, whatever the different widgets are, when I purchase it, uh, it's going to actually, instead of going into the cost of goods sold or hitting the profit and loss account, it's actually going to go into WIP. Okay, and then probably not going to sell it because the base widget only gets built into other widgets, but you have to choose an income account anyway, so you can stick something there. All right. Now, again, when I purchase it, uh, you want it, the cost of goods sold is going to be to WIP um, so that when you actually sell it, you know, it's saying it's going to go to WIP, but we're actually never going to sell it. We're only going to do builds. So what needs to be affected really is down here, which asset account it goes into, which is again, WIP. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, here. All right, so I have my base widget. And I'm going to go ahead and do an inventory assembly for widget B now. All right, and all this information can be filled in. 50, cost of goods sold, which income account, construction. Uh, what's the description? All this information can be filled in right here. Okay, so what this is, is it's actually made up of widget A, two of them, and widget, just regular old widget, where is it? Oh, base widget, there we go. And it's made up of one of these. All right, so now when it pulls and I do a build, it's gonna pull into my inventory because widget B goes into my inventory asset. Uh, and when I sell it, it goes on income. When I purchase it, if I purchase it separately, it goes to cost of goods sold or that's the account it hits when I sell it, okay? So now, oh, it's asking me to update my sales price. Okay. So now let me do a quick purchase of base widget. So we're going to do City of Austin and base widget, and we're going to buy 200 of them, and they cost a dollar each. All righty. So now if I look at that, so I'm going to do a quick report, take a look at that. Whoops, not widget B, base widget. And from this bill here, we can look at my journal and see what happens. So what that does is it hits accounts payable, accounts payable goes up and work in process goes up by $200. Okay, so then we're actually going to go ahead and let's do another one. So we're going to call it a inventory part and do base widget C. All right, put it to whip, put it to whip and choose an income account real quick. Say, okay. And we'll, we'll say we have a quantity on hand when we start of 150, they're $10 each. All right, so let's add that to this guy here. Okay. So now when I go ahead and build widget B, notice if I look at my balance sheet actually first, let's go look at our balance sheet. Okay. So we have here whip of $210. All right. And that is from the inventory adjustment for my opening balance for uh, the base widget C, and then also my base widget bill that I got here. Okay. 
Now let's go ahead and do a build. So we're going to go into vendors, inventory activities, and build assemblies. And we're going to build a widget B. Alrighty. I don't have any widget A's on hand. Oh, I want to do it for the end of the month. That's why. Okay, so I changed the end of the month. Now I have some corners on hand at the end of the month. So I have two widget A's. I have got 200 base widgets and 150 base widget C's. So I'm going to go ahead and build two of these. All right. Say build a new. Got to turn off that spelling check. <laughs> All right, so now if I go back here, I'm going to take a look at this. Based on building two, you know, it says I had four here because I need two per uh, one base widget per and two per here as well. So I was able to build two. Now we're going to go ahead and look at our transaction journal for this so we can see what happens. So based on doing that, notice that we built widget B. It ups our inventory, $350.27 because that's the average cost here based on building two of those. All right, it takes out of inventory $348 out of widget A, because that's how much it costs for two widget A's. And then notice here, it takes out of WIP inventory for $2 and into the finalized inventory asset for uh, the $2 and the 27 cents for widget base widget and base widget C. So that's just a way to uh, keep your work in progress or your work in process accounted for properly on your chart of accounts and on your balance sheet. Now, when I look at my balance sheet here, notice that the WIP goes down because of the build assembly, that $2.27, which of course matches this $2.27 right here. Okay, So that's how you keep track of work in process, work in progress in QuickBooks.